The Great Plains are worth preserving. They're like an intricate Swiss watch. There are a million moving parts, and each part is essential. But the mainspring of the watch is the buffalo. We think that buffalo belong back on the land, but a lot's been lost. Bringing them back will be an expensive undertaking. We think that the best way to accomplish that goal is to create a business that sells their meat, a system that gives them plenty of room, keeps them out of the clutches of industrial agriculture, and respects them in a traditional way. system here on the Great Plains uh, is about grass. Everything that you see out here from the buffalo to the prairie dogs to the microbe depends on grass. So it's really in a way of speaking it's all the same thing. The grasslands are a, a vanishing ecosystem and I think they're important because they provide a tremendous amount of diversity that isn't uh, really well known. For a millennium now, grasslands have evolved to be a thriving, dynamic ecosystem that has unique plants and animals that also evolved with that ecosystem. One of those is buffalo. They are the keystone species, I believe, of the Great Plains. Buffalo to the Lakota people were food, clothing, and shelter. You know, we got spiritual guidance and songs and ceremonies from them. They were very important for us. They were basically our lifeline in the past and still very much are today. There's a lot of things that buffalo do on the land, and it's not that the buffalo are doing this as if it's conscious, but the grasses evolve to respond positively to what buffalo do. One of the things buffalo do is they move in a herd miles at a time, and that action of those little hooves ch -ch 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 -ch, chops the ground up, plants the seeds, and those grass species have evolved to thrive and to, to take advantage of that action. We harvest our animals in the field with a mobile harvester. That way we can pull right into the field where the animals are comfortable. We don't get those high cortisol and stress hormone levels in our meat um, like you do from industrial slaughter. We harvest humanely unlike anybody else. The meat that we produce here is a byproduct of our conservation efforts. How they're raised is just critical in how the flavor comes through in the meat. You know, 100% grass-fed bison roaming very much like their ancestors did, you know, thousands of years ago, produces not only a healthier grassland, but just a super, super clean. Our goal here at Wild Idea is really twofold. First of all, we want to keep as many buffalo as we can out of the feedlot system. It's not the right thing to do to buffalo. As a result of being able to harvest these guys in the field and to be able to sell buffalo meat that's, that's strictly grass-fed, uh, we've been able to take out up to 100 or 200,000 acres uh, that's dedicated to this kind of production, which means that the whole suite of species that are on those 200,000 acres uh, benefit. Using bison as that large grazing animal and being able to use the meat 
in a holistic way is I think very important in a model for other conservation practices. I would like to see the suite of species that was originally here back in a completely healthy state on hundreds of thousands of acres. That's what I live for and to do that it's going to take some buffalo.